OIC of South Florida is a workforce development organization connecting people with career training and skills. As a workforce development company, we recognize November as National Career Development Month. So, twice a week, we will be bringing you these videos to help improve your professional development. This week's topic, we will be discussing discovery, discovering your passion, and identifying your goals. Hi, my name is Betty Formius, vocational trainer at OIC of South Florida. And my name is Steven, I'm also a trainer here at OIC. In the last segment, we talked about having a short-term goal and a long-term goal. The short-term goal could be two weeks, two months, long-term goal, two years. So the first step in the process is setting the goal. In order to attain a goal, you have to set one in the first place. Right. We also use something called SMART goal setting. SMART is an acronym for specific, measurable, obtainable, and or actionable, relatable, and time-bound. It is a structure used as part of your goal setting for you to take accountability and measure throughout your process. So basically what Betty is saying is once you establish your goal, now it's baby steps along the way to get there. And again, maybe how you figure out your goal. If you want to be a firefighter, you go in a fire station and you ask the chief, hey chief, what kind of, what kind of education do I need to get there? Or maybe your goal is to work in a warehouse, for instance. Right. Mm -hmm. So the baby steps to become successful in a warehouse, maybe the first step is you get your GED, which we offer some training on that. Right. Maybe a forklift license, right. or maybe you get a certificate. And if, if you're really unsure, if you're completely not sure, uh, we also have what's called ONET uh, yes. assessment. Yes, an ONET assessment is a online platform sponsored by the Department, U.S. Department of Labor, Employment, and Train Administration. What it does is it's a great database for the people that are looking for work or training. One of the sites of the multiple resources in ONET is the ONET Interest Profiler. Through a series of simple questions, it'll ask you, would you rather build a, a cabinet by hand made out of wood or would you rather buy one? Would you like to sing in front of an audience or write a book? So right. again, it's a bunch of questions um, geared to get the most out of you, what you're good at and what you like to do. And that can always change. And again, your short-term goal, it could be one thing, you could work in a warehouse, but five years from now, you might want to run your own business. So Correct. Your, your, your education and experience can always change with your goals as well. I agree. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about next is motivation. What gets you up in the middle of the night to uh, push you to keep going, to keep studying, to keep looking for jobs, to keep searching for your career goals? I, I completely agree. I, I think you need to know what drives you, why you get out of bed every morning at right. 5 o'clock, shut the alarm clock off, get on two or three buses to, to go to a job. Is it to feed your family? And again, you know, I think choosing the goals and setting that stuff up right. will, will help in that. It, it'll help ease the, the motivation or, or certainly increase it. It has to be a direct reflection of your vision. You wake up in the morning, you're feeling exciting, you're feeling inspired by what? What does it look like? I, identify what that is and then write the reasons why. And notice we talked about writing. Goal setting is about writing it down, putting it where you can see it every single day every moment of the day, your reasons why and what your goals are and the feeling of excitement. That is the formula to be successful right now. Perfect. Once you attain your goal, it's just going to re-motivate you on, yes. on to the next goal. Yes. And if you attain one goal, now, hey, I'm motivated. I can do the next thing. I can, I can take it to the next level. And that's where OIC is about, taking you to a place where you can develop a platform, a foundation, so you can continuously grow and be better in process and we're here throughout the throughout the entire process and making sure that you stay motivated and you maintain your level of success and so our next segment is going to be how to invest in yourself probably the most important step correct so make sure you like share and subscribe for the next posting and as always the greatest investment you can make is in yourself